Hello, my name is Dennis N. Krause, and unfortunately my 91-year-old mom has Alzheimer's disease. Uh, Alzheimer's disease is uh, actually in this country, in the United States, very common. Uh, one in three people over age 80 have Alzheimer's disease, and I believe a causative factor in this disease is aluminum. I spent five years studying aluminum toxicity uh, in the uh, doing research of the of the internet and found that the seven largest epidemiology studies thus far conducted looking at drinking water and uh, its aluminum content found that aluminum over 100 micrograms per liter leads to a greater risk of Alzheimer's disease. So I was trying to convince my mom to uh, find sources, daily sources of aluminum in her pantry and uh, in her daily lifestyle that we could possibly eliminate and maybe save uh, her declining brain and postpone the onset, uh, a further onset of uh, Alzheimer's symptoms. In our search for what might be causing this, we found a secret uh, killer right on the kitchen countertop that looks pretty innocuous and a lot of you may have it, but it is killing neurons. Aluminum ions kill neurons and prevent your neural networks from forming memories. So you want to eliminate them as a daily source. And right here is mom's coffee maker. And it looks innocuous enough, probably you're familiar with drip style coffee makers. Uh, the coffee is heated down below, uh, forced up through a tube into the uh, coffee which is in here and drips into the pot. Unfortunately, although they look innocuous, when you flip these type of coffee makers over and look underneath, you'll find the way that the water is heated is through a horseshoe shaped aluminum tube. And this tube is heated quite hot, so it can, it does not distill the water. It forces the water by creating vapor. It forces the water to come out of the reservoir through here and then back up and be uh, injected on top of the coffee to filter out the, the good stuff from the grounds. Well, this process of heating this tube results in adding uh, aluminum. This is an aluminum tube, this shiny one right here. It is heated hot enough to boil the water and it adds aluminum to the coffee. In fact, it adds a lot of aluminum to the coffee. This little coffee maker, which I got from mom, added 264 micrograms of aluminum per liter to our coffee. And I remember I told you that 100 micrograms per liter, anything above that uh, is linked to a greater risk of Alzheimer's. In fact, the World Health Organization has said that 100 micrograms per liter is a maximum limit on aluminum in your drinking water. So this little device is adding 260 uh, four micrograms more on top of whatever aluminum is already in your drinking water. And we all have some in our drinking water. So this is a little toxic generator. Uh, they're, when they're brand new, they don't emit quite that much. They only put out 37 micrograms per liter, but give them a year and they begin to corrode. And they corrode because our wonderful tap water in this country has fluoride in it, 0.6 micrograms. And fluoride pits and corrodes aluminum faster than normal tap water and much faster, let's say, than distilled water. So in an effort to find a coffee maker that is, is better than this, I began looking at coffee makers and uh, we had friends and relatives who loaned me their coffee maker for analysis. Uh, this one here is a Cuisinart and I found it added 182 uh, micrograms uh, per liter of aluminum. Uh, and uh, again, it's a used Cuisinart, it's been used for uh, well over 10 years. And this uh, has been used for probably a similar amount of time. And it's, it's a coffee urn. You sometimes see these at get-togethers. Uh, and it puts in 260 micrograms of aluminum uh, per liter. Again, way over the, 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 uh, what the World Health Organization suggests to be in drinking water. And then we have the little Presto coffee maker that looks all stainless steel, bright and shiny. But unfortunately, when you look, take the cap off and look way down inside, whoop, you see an aluminum nut down there. It sits right in the bottom of the coffee maker. And that aluminum nut, although it looks pretty innocuous, actually adds 82 micrograms per liter of aluminum to uh, every cup of coffee made. So even though they look stainless steel, they aren't necessarily all stainless steel. And that gets around to the solution to this problem. There is one coffee maker, and I'm not selling coffee makers here. I stand to make no money selling coffee makers, but this particular one is unique, and that's the only one I'm aware of that right on the box 
in, in the first bullet on the box, right here, it says stainless steel lined heating system. Aluminum uh, eliminates contact with aluminum, okay? So that is the first bullet. It eliminates contact with aluminum. That is an MG900, called a Compresso MG900, and it's sold by Jura, J-U-R-A. Well, that's, that's this one here, and it puts no, I've tested it, it puts no aluminum in the wa uh, coffee water, as they claim. There are th three or four others on the market. Uh, for instance, there's a Krupp's Mocha Brew that uh, I've tested, and my mom, mom, in fact, used that for a while, and that puts no aluminum in. And the uh, Keurig uh, model, I checked only one of them, but it put no aluminum in as well. And then there's, for these little guys, uh, these percolator style, Farberware has two. One is a 12 cupper, a CP, model CP412, and a two to four cupper, which is a 240A is the model number. Uh, those two are aluminum free as well. So there's a variety of coffee makers on the market that uh, have indeed no aluminum, add no aluminum. As far as my mom is going, uh, doing. We uh, have given her now a coffee, uh, actually an aluminum free coffee maker. We gave her a bun uh, speed brew and it's working really well. She likes it. It's very easy to use. She's been using that now for some time and she uh, is also drinking Fiji water which has silica in it and that helps remove your aluminum from your body any that you do ingest. So she's been on this protocol now for several years and we've actually seen an improvement in her. She's got a better uh, memory, short-term memory. We hear uh, uh, mostly daily news of what's happened during the last day or two and uh, she's obviously turning a corner we think in terms of dealing with her memory uh, difficulties. So we attributed a lot to this choosing a better coffee maker and the Fiji water, drinking the Fiji water. I have put some of this information in a book I wrote of I decided to spread the word that uh, regarding these coffee makers and uh, other information such as other sources of aluminum and baking powder and other things you use and it's all described here in the book along with telling you uh, how to make some artificial Fiji water for a much, much more uh, affordable price. So this is it, this is called, my title of my book is Prevent Alzheimer's Autism and Stroke. It's available from Amazon. So I thank you for thank you for listening, and uh, we will. Uh, if you're interested in any more information, my blog uh, is available, uh, and it has an up to date information on coffee makers I've been testing. So I thank you very much for listening.